Joints January, day 29. Today we're going to be training the hip joint. I'd like you to start in the 90-90 position, your right leg facing as your back leg, your left leg facing as your front leg. So you're just going to set up as close to you can as how I'm sitting. So you want to be creating a 90 degree angle at both knee joints and then flexing your ankle, your toes towards the shin. Okay. Then what you're going to do is place your hands behind you and start to rotate your torso towards the back leg, which in this case is the right leg. So follow along with me here. We're just going to start by stretching. So I want you to feel like you're relaxing your right glute towards the floor. And this relaxation is mostly coming from the torso, not so much the actual leg. You have to be pretty active in the leg to be pushing your weight towards the ground to try to get that right butt cheek to sit on the floor. Okay, so we're, act, we're relaxed in our arms and torso. We're active in the leg trying to push ourselves toward the floor. Now, you may notice your left knee quite high off the ground. If that's the case, you can just put a little effort into pushing the left knee down, but you don't want to expend much energy. If it's just an inch or two off the ground, it's not a big deal. We're just going to stay here for about another minute, mostly relaxing or, or being in the stretch before we begin some higher intensity movements with the right leg. Could be a good opportunity to take a few deep breaths, so larger inhale, some more relaxed exhale. Do that a couple more times. Though we are active in our legs, our hips, we we do want to. It's a it's a soft active. We're not trying to just force our glute down at this point. We're just trying to let gravity do its job. We're kind of coaxing it to go towards the floor. Just over thirty more seconds here. Hands will stay behind you the whole time as we start to push in effort to our right leg. We'll start working in about 10 seconds here. You're going to be keeping the exact position you're in with your torso, so don't move that at all. Only thing you're going to change, as long as you're comfortable, well, relatively comfortable, is starting to push the inside of the right knee down and towards the ground at about a 3 out of 10 effort. Just hold that pressure. Then start to lift the right knee off the ground at about a 3 out of 10 effort as well. Hover it there. Try to squeeze into those muscles that you're feeling working at the side of the hip. Place that right knee back down. Start to push into the ground again. Keep your torso facing towards the right knee. It, it shouldn't even have moved at all. Start to push now 5 out of 10 effort. Up into a 6. Now we're starting to get a lot of activation work into the side of our hip. Maybe you feel it into your growing even. The feeling can be distributed in a lot of different places. Up into a 7 out of 10, so we're getting stiffer into our torso even now, putting more work. This is where we do get stiff. We don't want to be relaxed anymore. 8 out of 10 with that right knee. Focus in, 9. And start to press down as hard as you can. Hard as you can into the floor with the inside of that right knee. For three, two, and then lift that knee off the ground. Try to raise it as high as you can, as hard as you can. For the next three, squeeze, two, one, relax. We'll do one eccentric on this side. So if you turn your torso over to the left leg, push your right knee into the floor. Keep the right knee pushed into the floor and start to rotate your torso slowly towards that right leg again, trying to sit your butt cheek more aggressively onto the floor. As the inside of the knee presses down, hold for three, two, one, relax. Let's switch up our legs. So the left is now going to be our back leg. 
and let's face ourselves towards the trail leg, in this case the left leg. Make sure once again you're in that 90-90 position with both your legs, so bent at the knee, toes pulling up to the shin. We're trying to sit our left glute in this case down onto the floor. We're mostly letting gravity do that, but we're, we're being a bit active with turning our torso and trying to put a little weight down, but our torso in this case is relaxed. We're not squeezing into anything. We're not pushing down. Good opportunity for three big breaths. Do it at your own time, but let's start with the big inhale. If you felt any further relaxation happen there, you can turn your torso even a little more to the left or just try to sit onto the left butt cheek a little more. Just be here for about 30 more seconds. This would be the stretching component of, the, of what we're doing tonight before we get into some high intensity work to the left side. As we start to come to that intensity work, torso doesn't move at all. We just start to push down with our left knee, the inside of the knee, at about a three out of 10 effort. Hold that there. And we're gonna lift that left knee off the ground at a three out of 10 effort. Hold. And place that back down. Start to push the left inside of the knee down at three out of 10 again. Paying some attention that the right knee is staying close to the floor. Start to push in at a five out of 10, left inside knee. <clears throat> Six, seven, and this is where you wanna incorporate some of your torso starting to get stiff as well. Arms are squeezing more. Feeling these muscles around the hip engage. Eight, up it to nine. Start to push down as hard as you can with the left inside knee. Drive it, squeeze everything. For three, two, one. Now lift that knee up as high as you can, working as hard as you can to do that, squeezing into your hip. Lift it higher. For three, Two, relax. We'll finish off with one eccentric. So if you face your torso to the right, push the inside of your left knee down at about a three out of 10 and start to rotate towards the left, keeping the left knee pushed down, trying to sit on your left butt cheek. Keep trying to sit more of your weight down onto the floor for three, two, one, relax.